I'm very lucky. I think most writers don't get the chance to be at this hands-on involvement in the whole production of their play. Usually they just get cast aside. But it's been fantastic. I really enjoy every moment of it, sitting on the auditions and just seeing so many actors come through the door or reading the same lines and, and just seeing who matches my mental image of when I very first wrote the script, of how I envisaged these characters. And I think we've got a great cast. We've done really well, so I'm looking forward to it. Director Laurie has her own problems and takes drastic action to shift those extra pounds by booking herself into an exclusive health resort. Um, I decided to come here because I've had um, injury after injury for um, a long time, which has prevented me from getting fit. And I thought if I come somewhere where I'm kind of locked in, <laughs> then, um, and there's no escape to the Starbucks or <laughs> Cafe Nero or the local Indian restaurant, that I could actually just get on with it you know, under supervision, so I wouldn't get injured and I wouldn't try and do too much or too little and that, you know, I just need to kind of have a regime and it's been, it's been really good here because the food is absolutely fantastic. Because apparently according to the fatometer, I'm 50% pure fat. <laughs> I'm all woman. <laughs> but also I really wanted to be fit for the plays so like you know because it's a lot of running around it's going to be really intense it's going to be completely mad no let up it's got 90 days of no day off <laughs> for the play we're really lucky that we found some fantastic actors and hopefully this play gives these people the break that they that a few of them need and deserve things are not going according to plan Duckett has pulled out Laurie and Kevin will have to endure another round of auditions. And we've got our eye on a guy who's really, really good. But just to make life interesting, and because we need to have a backup, we've got to audition other people. So we're auditioning about nine or ten people today, which is like a holiday for us, because we usually audition 60 in a day. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, it's just my gay dar going off steamy. Boring. Are you all right? Oh, it's just my gaydar going off. <laughs> Are you all right? It's just my gaydar uh, going off, Stevie. Laurie and Kevin are beginning to get tired of the whole audition process. They, they are told it's high energy up comedy play and they play it like it's a play yes, about Prime death and disease. Whoop, 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 whoop. Are you all right? <laughs> it's just my... Uh, just my gaydar going off, Stevie. Are you alright? <laughs> it's just my gaydar going off, Stevie. The day is really boring. Because we're used to doing 70 actors a day. Well, he is. <laughs> With his day. <laughs> No, we used to have like 150 actors waiting outside the door, fanning themselves in the heat and having one act try to hour. It's a bit of a culture shock. <laughs> 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 it's just my, my gaydar going off, Stephen. Hi, it's Laurie. Oh, OK, all right, I'll be quick. We thought you were fantastic today. <laughs> so we'd love to offer you the job. Well, Simon has to check with his wife because his wife is an actress, you see, and they've got a kid, a toddler. So he has to ensure that she's not bloody filming or doing anything in January, February time because otherwise they've got a massive clash. I have a hot day. <laughs> A very nice young man from Los Angeles. Third date, fingers crossed. It's going really well, so. I'd like to be a young man living in LA. <laughs> Especially a young gay man, so I could sleep with as many men as I wanted to. Such a slag. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good working relationship. Yeah. What we have to do now, we have to workshop the script itself. We think it, it works already, but it could certainly do with uh, the writer being able to hear the words read out and see it up on its feet. It's just see that the characters come to life, which is really, really important. So Laurie is on her way to Beth Green to workshop the play with the new cast and Kevin. We're going to Beth Green, God help us, a place I've never been to in my life. <laughs> but the only place in London with cheap rooms. Yeah, it's during my half sleep last night and half drunk haze after a few glasses of vino. It just came to me about the song that Janelle could be singing when she's lap dancing Steve. And so I, it's to the tune of Hey Big Spender, but I changed the lyrics so it was to be a, a bit more rude. So I said, she'll come on when she does. 
the minute I sat on your lap. Duh, duh. I could tell you had a bulge of distinction, a real big member. <laughs> so foreign, so divine. Do you wanna know what's going on in my dirty mind? <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to workshop um, some of the bigger, <laughs> like the, the group scenes in it, so I don't have to get everyone back tomorrow, so I can just get right. a key to five back tomorrow. It's fun to do things that I probably wouldn't normally do, like run around naked, although I haven't done that quite yet. <laughs> Actors are often put under a lot of strain, and Charlotte is no exception. I was just about to leave the house, all ready for my audition. I've been practicing it in that way. And then I just quickly thought I'd check my email just to find out where the location was, directions to the location. And I suddenly saw an email that I hadn't noticed before, just saying, oh, for the actresses playing Penelope, we've kind of looking at her in a different way now. We don't want her dressed up like Paris Hilton. We want her more reserved, kind of the Jackie O look, or Audrey Hepburn, you know, dressed up very reserved. And I thought, wow, oh, my God, I've got, like, two minutes to get there. What am I going to wear? But I thought it was quite fantastic an idea, but I just quickly, like, throwing everything around my room, looking for the right outfit. Just quickly had to get a taxi, rushed to the audition, had, didn't have a chance to practice it, just kind of improvised and worked, it worked really well, so they liked it and it was really funny and it was good. <laughs> they are the modern day gay versions of the Tin Man, Scarecrow and Lion from The Wizard of Oz. You feel alive when you're doing theatre because it's you feel that blood pumping in your veins and you'll find me crapping my pants backstage before I'm due on and I'm thinking, I could be a housewife and a mother, why am I doing this? It's because you fucking love it. The Tin Man motions for Steve to stand up. I've done theatre, I've done TV, I've done film, so I'm just waiting for Francis Ford Coppola now to ring me up and say, we want you in Godfather 4. With some directors, you find they're really sort of try and put their mark on it and it's literally like kind of acting by numbers. It's like you walk here, then you say it like this, and you've got no expression of yourself, you've got no freedom to do anything. And with Laurie, she trusts you in the role that she's cast you in. And she'll kind of, she'll give you free range to do what you want to do and experiment. But I like, I do like that. It does give you a lot more freedom. Hi, uh, my name's Steve. Laurie is a director so far, so, uh, as far as I've seen so far. Her and, her and Kevin um, are a <laughs> double act. They're great, they're, they're so on the same wave then they're so on the same page i've played every spanish italian housekeeper maid you name it that's what i normally get typecast in i think the play is fantastic fun um and the thing that's really good with it is it's very funny but yet it has a great heart to it Brilliant, thanks so much, all of you. It's terrific. You agree? No, totally. <laughs> Good. Salt beef bagel, 2.10. Smoked salmon bagel, 1.30. Egg, 60p. All prices are subject to change. <laughs> Brit, Brit Lane Bagel Shop, open 24 hours. Wearing a G string is going to be interesting. See, that's the only thing, because I, from what I've heard, the theatre is actually kind of in the round and I've got a lot of crouching scenes to do <laughs> and whoever sat behind me isn't going to be too amused when I bend over so it's just <laughs> My name's Steve and I'm uh, I'm a friend of Dorothy Difficult thing with the character especially in the, throughout the course of the play is that people accusing him of, of the gay thing and always saying no I think from an audience perspective, there's the threat that if you play it in a certain kind of way, it might get a bit sort of, oh, come on, just let it out. So you, I think you have to find, pitch it from an acting point of view in, in the right kind of way where he stays interesting and um, they feel sympathetic towards him. But it's very important to have a writer there for the workshop because then they can see what's working and what's not working. I know lots of directors don't like to work with living writers because it means that they can't piss about with the script and the writers sat there. <laughs> That's why they all prefer to do Shakespeare because <laughs> the poor guy's dead. <laughs> and I'm just grateful for not being disposed at the end of the food chain like most writers do. So I feel very honoured to actually have all this input and be part of the whole thing, which I'm sure a lot of writers are not. I think we've got a perfect little cast. Yeah. 
a really good cast. Everyone gets on well, working together and socially together as well. Yeah. It's a very easy environment today, lots of laughter and relaxed, easy going, which I think is conducive to a, a good production. Not only is Laurie moving house, but to add to her stress level, Kevin has an unexpected surprise in store. 